Hey guys, today I have a walk-in, uh, a pistol that was issued to the German Navy. I could use your help. Stay tuned. Okay, yesterday I did a video and I asked for your help and it was a super secret agent gun with a silencer and uh, we've already gotten a lot of comments. Thank you very much. We're still learning about that. I need your help on this one as well. Again, these, both of these guns came from Nick. Uh, this one he got directly from the family of the vet. So the man who brought this home passed away and then uh, Nick picked it up from the family and they said he took it from the captain of a boat who surrendered in Hamburg, Germany at the end of the war. Let's take a look at this and help, hopefully you guys can give me some information. Again, walk in Wednesday. Uh, we'd like to gather some information. I have a feeling that some of you out there can help us figure out what this is. Okay, first and foremost, I already know this is a Beretta holster. Uh, could have been um, with a, a Navy Beretta, but this is a definitely a Beretta holster, which if, if it came from the captain of the boat, he put this together with a Mauser. I'm being very careful because this is almost falling off. So we, we know Beretta could have been a connection with the uh, Italian Navy, but this has been added. And this is some kind of a, a family crest, uh, a knight, some embellishment. Um, it looks like tarnished silver. So right off the bat, uh, the captain of the boat uh, was, you know, maybe aristocratic family who had a family crest. Not sure what the symbol means. Maybe somebody out there would recognize it. Uh, this, again, that does look like the head of a knight. And if we turn it over, and I'm going to put my finger here because I don't want to break it off, but this is very important. It looks like it has a French saying inside. There's a French saying in there. Uh, maybe somebody can help me. I'm going to Google it myself, but I, I love just reaching out to you guys and give me information. And the name of the captain, which I can't read, uh, but I think... It's just the writing, the scriptic writing, uh, very hard to read, but it has the name of the captain, according to the family, um, that he took it from. So if anybody has any ability to help us with that, please let us know. I'm going to show you the gun. Now, the gun I know a lot about, but if you can help out, let us know. And then also read the comments, because if you watch this a week after it's been posted, I'm sure somebody will come up with some answers. Now, let's go to the inside. This... Uh, is the 4UT symbol that we see on a Beretta. Though that, that is a proof mark for a Beretta. That's how I said, I know this is a Beretta holster, and they were typically green. Could, and again, could have been the uh, Italian Navy. And then here's the uh, gun that comes with a spare magazine. Now, this I know a lot about. So this is a 1934 Mauser. Uh, excellent condition. There is some wear on the, the uh, grip, the wooden grip. It's a one-piece wooden grip. And what really makes it stand out, if you've seen one of these before, is the uh, Nazi Navy Eagle. So there's uh, an eagle. His head is a little bit thin, but these were individually inscribed. I don't believe it's fake. I do believe it's real. It has the uh, swastika under the eagle uh, and then an M. They also often had the, proof, uh, the property mark, and this one does, and for North Sea, which is Wilhelmshaven. So in the North Sea, and then the property number, which is 5990. So North Sea gun number 5990. So we know they had at least 6,000 guns. It comes in 32 caliber and would have gone to a naval officer for sure. So that part of the story does check out. It comes with a matching magazine. You can see here is the uh, identical uh, or at least matching N5990 and that all looks real to me. So there's one matching mag and coincidentally there's a second mag that's only one digit off. You see the little X right there? That means that's the extra mag. So we have one matching and one that's one digit off as the extra mag. Uh, beautiful 1934 Navy. A nice high polish finish, 32 caliber, issued to a naval officer, and came back from a vet. And Nick, who brought it here, got it directly from the family of the vet with the name of the officer who carried the gun. If you can help us out, uh, make sure you comment. 
Um, I will say more about it. I'll give you guys an update when we get more information. Thanks for watching.